What's up guys, today I wanted to go over Spider-Man PS4 and primarily the four amazing effects that make Spider-Man feel so fast. So starting off with number one, that is going to be motion blur. Now motion blur isn't something new uh, to the Spider-Man series, we actually saw it in Spider-Man 2 on the PS2. Now the difference is that in Spider-Man 2, when you're using motion blur, uh, how they used it was that basically the entire screen got blurred out. In Spider-Man PS4, you only see the edges of the screen that gets blurred out, which really hones in your focus to Spider-Man as he's swinging through the city. This uh, blur effect was also used uh, in, in the Superman game. Uh, probably one of the, the, <laughs> the only Superman we, game we have thus far, unless we get some new footage or a new announcement from Rocksteady on the alleged Superman game that they're working on. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hopefully this comes out amazing. But the great thing about the motion blur in Spider-Man PS4 is that it's not overly done. It's not overly done like in Spider-Man in PS2, but it's also, it's also used on precise moments when you, to really get that sense of speed. Whether you're diving or whether you're going through uh, web swinging at really, really fast paced rates. So the second amazing effect, and that is going to be the visual representation of the wind flowing by. You primarily see this during a dive sequence and when Spider-Man dives, and I believe it's the, the, the R3 button, and he dives straight straight down to the, to the, the city floor. You get this great rush by the visual of the winds flowing by you um, on the outer edges of the screen. You get like these uh, very motion blur lines and you get this cloud of, uh, of, of wind that comes by you in the middle as you're diving down. And it slowly dissipates as you start to go into regular swing, but it really gives you this great sense of speed as you're about to hit, you know, impending death. So the third amazing effect isn't necessarily an effect, but it's going to be the camera. Now, one of the great things that I've always loved in any you know Spider-Man movie are the swinging scenes and they, how they position the camera and how they track Spider-Man throughout the city. And in Spider-Man PS4, you can see that the camera is is cleverly used. There are certain segments uh, during the swing where there's a subtle camera shake, which gives you this this real rush that you're going you know bottleneck speeds. Another thing that the camera does is that it slowly pulls away and it lags ever so slightly um, during the dive animation from which he transitions into the regular web swing. And this gives you this feel that Spider-Man is really going at some crazy speeds. Not only that, but it gives a greater impact to his speeds when the camera actually pulls back into the regular camera position and you start swinging uh, as normal. This is, gives it a, an amazing cinematic feel. There are also certain parts of the gameplay where the camera actually lags behind uh, when he's swinging over traffic and it gives you this, uh, this cinematic feel, very reminiscent of let's say a Spider-Man 2 uh, camera. Because Spider-Man 2, I don't know if you guys remember, but Spider-Man 2 with Toby, uh, the OG Spider-Man, it, it, it really plays with the camera of going in and zooming out or having Spider-Man come close to the camera or go out as opposed to, you know, the amazing Spider-Man 2. So this now leads us to the last amazing effect, and that is going to be the amazing effect of sound. Once you combine the, the camera shake and the camera tracking, along with all the other visuals in the game, uh, the sound is nothing more than the cherry on top. The sound of you whizzing by overhead of the cars really enhances the gameplay. It really uh, makes it feel like you're going super fast as one sound is coming in and you slowly hear it go, Nyeom as you, you, you zoom off as you web swing. Not only that, but you also get the sound effects of, of the wind as you're diving or as you, once you reach certain speeds. Because there's a certain sound that you hear as the wind flowing you know, past you when you're hitting certain speeds of, uh, in the gameplay. With everything combined, I have to say this is one of the most breathtaking experiences playing as Spider-Man that I've ever come across in a game. And I'm definitely looking forward to its release come September 7th. Well, that's going to be the video, guys. And until next time, keep animating.